Welcome to Speak English with Tiffany. I am teacher Tiffany and today I am going to teach you how to express yourself in English when you are sad. This lesson will improve your ability to speak clearly and logically in English. Are you ready? Well then, let's jump right in. As an English learner, you study all about how to express yourself. For example, you learn how to say, I am sad. But how do you say, I am sad, in different ways? Let's learn three different ways together. The first way to express being sad is with the English expression, I'm feeling blue. I'm feeling blue. This English expression means that you are feeling unhappy or depressed. An example of how to use this expression is, I was really feeling blue after he told me that he was leaving. The second way to express being sad is with the English idiom, my heart sank. My heart sank. This idiom means that you feel very unhappy and despondent. An example of how to use this idiom is, His heart sank when he realized that he had lost all of his money. The third way to express being sad is with the vocabulary word dejected. Dejected. This vocabulary word means to be sad and depressed also to be low-spirited. An example of how to use this vocabulary word is, they all looked dejected as they stood there in silence. Okay, now that we have three different ways of expressing sadness, let's apply all three of them to one response. My friend was looking really dejected when I saw her after work yesterday, so I decided to go and ask her what was wrong, but my heart sank when she told me that her father had passed away. She said that she had been feeling really blue for the last couple of days. All right, amazing. Today you learned how to express yourself in English when you are sad. You learned one new English expression, I'm feeling blue. One new English idiom, my heart sank, and one new vocabulary word, dejected. So, instead of just saying you feel sad, you will now be able to express yourself like a native speaker and use multiple natural expressions. Now, try to use at least one new expression, idiom, or vocabulary word today. You can do it. You can speak English. I hope this video helped to give you more confidence in your English ability. If you would like to learn over 125 expressions, vocabulary words, and idioms, have access to over 200 definitions, and on top of all that, have the ability to review over 400 English example sentences, then this gift is for you. Click the link below and get your free Speak English ebook in your inbox today. This has been Speak English with Teacher Tiffany. Have an amazing day, have a wonderful day, and until next time, remember to speak English. Remember to subscribe.